Hey guys, Eric here with Blue Line Fishing. Thanks for joining me today, man. I really appreciate your time's important to me. What I want to do today is just give a quick breakdown of this Abba Garcia Black Max reel that I've been using for close to the last three years. Uh, give you my thoughts and feelings on it, do a little review, uh, just to give you guys some insight on this reel that is so popular right now. Stick around. All right, guys, first things first on the Black Max. Um, like I said, I've been using it close to three years now. I uh, have two of them, and I've used them extensively, fish them basically all year, all spring, summer, uh, into the late fall. But some basic stats on the reel, it is a 6.4 to 1 gear ratio, and what that means is it is taking in about 26 inches of line per handle turn. Um, it also has a one-piece machined graphite frame and uh, aluminum spool on it, machined aluminum spool to make it a little bit stronger. Also has a really neat, or what I think is neat, this bent handle design is really comfortable for fishing all day uh, with the reel rather than a straight handle. You wouldn't think that would make much of a difference, but it honestly does. Uh, I put reel grips on these uh, just because I like them. It um, gives a little more bulk to the reel handle and such. But you know, down to the nuts and bolts of this, this reel, you know, the, the price point on it it's about $40, sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. But I'll tell you what, for 40 bucks, you just can't beat it. Um, I have reels that are higher end that cost much more, but I have um, several that are in this price point. Along with the two Black Maxes, I also have a Pishy Fun Torrent, uh, which I'll put the link down in the description so you guys can watch that video on that review too if you want to. Um, how this compares, for example, to the Torrent, I, I like the Black Max better. Um, I don't have any issues with torquing with it. And what I mean by that is um, I've caught a number of fish on this in the past few years uh, in the five, six, and even low seven pound range. Um, and I never feel like I'm out of control with it. I personally crank the star drag all the way down. Um, I get all the torque out. I want any boat side surges. Um, I like to just use my thumb and thumb the spool rather than the drag. I know a lot of guys don't like to do that. That's just me personally. But the Pishy Fun Torrent, one of the other videos, I'll link down in the description. I had a bass that was a little over six and a half pounds. It was caught on that reel. I don't say anything on the video, but at one point, the torquing on it, I could feel like it was it was wanting to surge and slip. That spool was starting to want to slip, and I don't mean from the drag. So kind of some torquing issues with that, not with the Black Max. Once again, um, give you a little close-up of it here, and I'm sure you can look at it online too. It has a magnetic cast control system on it. Uh, I believe it's one through eight clicks on there, so you can really fine tune it in. Um, also has the uh, separate, like I say, the star drag over here where you can control the, the function a little bit more. What I haven't matched up with, uh, this particular one I haven't matched up on a Falcon Buku rod, uh, which is a, a longer rod, a seven foot rod, but with the micro guides, I use it for throwing Senkos and lighter weight lures like that. Um, the other Black Max that I have here, if you really want an economy package, I have it on the Berkeley Lightning Rod, which I think is a phenomenal ride, a rod, I'm sorry, for that price point as well. Uh, really, really uh, like this reel and this rod combo. I use this for spinner baits. Um, if you guys have watched some of my videos in the past, you'll see that the spinner baits on this um, are one of my favorite baits to throw. And so I'll throw a little bit heavier baits on this one here. Have this one rigged up with a 12 pound P-Line CX fluorocarbon coated line. Um, and I have the other one rigged up with 10 pound P-Line CX. It's also fluorocarbon coated. So if you're looking for a budget bait casting reel or even a starting bait casting reel, it's fantastic. Or if you're looking at bait casting reels to back up some of your other high end reels, whether you're tournament fishing or you're a recreational guy and you're just wanting some extra reels to kind of put in the arsenal, uh, these are fantastic. I mean, after three years of hard use, like I say, I fish these spring, summer, late into the fall, um, they have held up very, very well. This reel is extremely smooth on the cast, um, smooth on the retrieve. Neither one of these or either one of these reels make any kind of noise on the cast or on the retrieve, uh, which tells me the bearing system is holding up well. The bearing system on this is a five bearing system. It's four stainless steel ball bearings and one roller bearing. Um, so that plays along with the uh, 6.4 to one gear ratio. Um, I think it works very, very well. So if you're looking to get a budget um, bait casting reel. This is one that I would highly recommend. Uh, like I say, I, I, I've got the Pishy Fun Torrent. I've even got some of the Bass Pro Shop ones that are like the Bass Pro Shop Extreme and Tourney Special, which are kind of in that same $40 to $60 price range. And if 
I have my druthers on all those, and there's several others I tried to. Um, the Black Max, definitely. For the durability, castability, uh, it's very user friendly, forgiving on the cast. I like to say on the other one, rigged up on the Abu Garcia, or the, I'm sorry, the, the Falcon Buku rod, I can cast a, a Senko, no weight on it, just with a four, three, four rod hook, and I, I have no problems with backlashes. Or... So it's kind of a recap, guys. I'll tell you what, the Abu Garcia Black Max, if you're looking for a budget fishing reel, is a fantastic reel. I mean, this is a durable reel. I've caught a lot of big fish on it, just caught a lot of numbers of fish. Uh, I've never had it fail on me. Also, like this one here, it can cast light lures with that, what I have it rigged up on here with this Buku rod, this Falcon Buku. Uh, I don't have issues with once you get the allure adjusted with the magnetic control and such. I don't have any problems with the backlashing. Um, and then the other setup I've got, I can cast the heavier stuff like my jigs and spinner baits and square bowl crankbaits and such, lipless crankbaits. Um, it's just something as far as a budget reel goes that uh, a lot of the others can't do. And, uh, you know, I have reels that are higher end and the higher end reels, uh, I've, I've got actually one or two that, that they, that I've had them about the same length of time and they do not perform like this reel does. They did in the beginning, but not now. Hey guys, final thoughts on the Abba Garcia Black Max. If you guys are looking for a budget reel or maybe a backup reel, uh, this is one I really recommend. Um, I wouldn't say that if I really didn't mean it, the nuts and bolts of it is, it is a, basic reel, but man, it gets the job done. Uh, and it's really comparable to a lot of those reels out there that are $75, $100, $150 without having to spend that kind of money. So you might want to give this one a shot. Like I say, if you've been looking at it for a while, uh, it's worth dropping the cash on. And if you guys really enjoyed this video, like this video, please give me a like and subscribe. Uh, it helps me out trying to grow my channel some more here and hope to grow even more in 2020. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate your guys' time. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks.